Uh, this is Two Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango returning. Hello YouTube, my name's Ben, I'm Two Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango and I'm here with this, the most well used radio in the whole of my shack and I want to tell you why you need to get one. This is the Baofeng UV5R. So I've come up with 10 reasons why you need to get yourself one of these. But if you think I've missed a good reason, then why not add it to the comments section below? Number one, the thing that probably attracted you to this radio first was the price. A lot of radios can cost upwards of two or three thousand pounds. I picked mine up for 24 pounds. That's about $30 from Amazon. It was sent to me the next day and instantly I could program it to listen to my repeater. That meant that before I was even licensed, I was able to start getting to know what people talked about on the local repeaters and starting to learn bits and bobs along the way. Reason number two, I think these are probably one of the most common radios on the market, which means if you're talking to other local amateur radio users, they may well have one. So if you get stuck with something or can't work out how something works, then I'm sure if you ask someone else locally, they'll have one of these and they'll be able to guide you. They'll also be able to tell you their limitations. I don't make out that this is the best radio on the market, but it is certainly useful. Also, as a result of how many people have these, there are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos about how to use them, how to program them, all of the different functions that are really helpful if you're new to the hobby and want to try and understand how to program one of these. Number three, these radios are brilliant for listening before you've even taken your test. Perhaps you're not sure whether amateur radio is a hobby for you. Perhaps you just want to dip a toe in the water. It's quite a lot of work to get licensed, but actually, if you buy one of these, as long as you don't put, press that push to talk button, you're perfectly well within your rights legally to listen to all of the local activity. Some good places to listen on initially would be 145.500. That's the FM calling frequency to hear if people local to you are putting calls out or your local repeater. If you go on to repeaterbook.com, you'll find the frequency for your local repeater. And even before you've passed the test, you can pick one of these up and listen to what's going on locally to you. Number four, these radios are brilliant to access your local repeater. Right across the United Kingdom and in fact around the world, there is a network of repeaters. That is radios high on a hill with a big antenna that are designed specifically for handheld operators to access and to get their signal out further. So by simply tuning into your local repeater, you can have a QSO with someone further away than you would ever get on one of these. Let me tune into my local repeater, GB3SA. This is Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, listening for any calls on GB3SA, 2E0 BMT. Just by doing that, the reach of this radio has now been increased to about 20, 30 miles, something like that. So anyone else who's tuned in on that frequency will be able to hear me and come back to me. Number five, I think this radio is fantastic for SOTA activations. Not necessarily for when you're at the top on the summit, but going up and down just to hear what's going on. As you see in this video, I've got the slightly long antenna, which gets out a little bit further so you can see all that's going on in the hill. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Two Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, listening for any calls. Number six, this is super lightweight and portable. I mean, you can see how small it is in comparison to my hand. It easily slips in a pocket to take it out and about with you. It's light, it's robust. I can't tell you the number of times I've dropped this around the uh, walks that I go on and it's, it's absolutely solid as a rock. And therefore it's really easy to just grab and go and have it by the door ready for whenever you go out. Number seven, these have a detachable antenna and a removable battery so that you can upgrade. So simply by twisting this antenna off, you can add on slightly larger antennas, like this one here, which will be able to get you out slightly further. This is a nice long tactical antenna. Using this, I can get further than before. Also, you can easily whip the battery off, the small little battery, and put on larger batteries if you know you're gonna be out all day and need a little bit more power and quickly and easily change the battery if you're running low. Also, I've managed to purchase an SMA to PL259, which means by 
putting that in the top there, I can then plug a normal coax into other antenna as well. So using this small radio, I can increase my coverage simply by changing the antenna and seeing what works best for me. Yeah, no, roger, roger, thank you for that. That's so helpful. Anyway, I've got to go to Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, off and clear, 7-3. Well, number eight, these are great to take out for a walk with you. They're so compact and light, and because of the price, you don't really mind if they get wet or take a few knocks along the way. Instead, just pop it in your pocket and get out for your daily exercise. Number nine, these radios are brilliant to access digital modes and hotspots within your house. For example, my all-star node is currently up and running and connected to Hubnet. If I just turn my Baofeng UV5R on, I can tune in to Hubnet and hear all that's going on. And I can use this within my house to easily connect through the internet to radio amateurs all around the world. Number 10, these are really easy radios to program. There's two ways you can program them. Either you can use the menu on the radio itself and program different channels in, maybe your local repeaters or different FM channels that you want to listen to, or you can use one of these programming cables that plugs straight into your computer and then you can use a program like Chirp or another programming software to program different channels into the radio itself. Personally, I've programmed the local 50 repeaters in order of priority from distance from my front door. And even just using this small antenna, I can open three or four of them in the local area and talk to people close by. Now, I like to stay on the positive side of things. So that's my 10 reasons why I would have one of these. I would have some reasons why I wouldn't have one of these as well. I'm not saying this is perfect, but I wonder what other reasons would you have for buying the Baofeng UV5R? Why not add them in the comments section below? If you've enjoyed my video today, then please do like and subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified of other videos that I make. I'm 2 Echo Zero, Bravo, Mike Tango, off and clear, 7-3. Uh, this is 2 Echo Zero Bravo Mike Tango returning.